Welcome boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about choosing the best words when writing your information text. When choosing words for your text, there are three things that you really need to keep in mind. The first is using precise language, and we've already talked about that. We've used a dictionary to look up synonyms and to make sure that the terms or the words that we're using are really exact and match the meaning that we're saying. The second thing that you need to keep in mind is you need to write your information text using the present tense. And the third thing that you need to do is to write using the third person. What? That sounds a little bit complicated. Let's talk about what we mean. So we're really looking at the trade of writing today that is word choice. We're choosing the best version of words for the present tense and for the third person. When you write using the present tense, you write and describe the action as though it's currently happening to your topic. For example, I'm writing about plants. Plants are currently growing all around the world. They're still happening. So, I need the action or the verbs in my text to indicate that that action is happening right now. If I was writing about something like if my topic was about living in ancient Egypt, something that had happened in the past and was no longer relevant, then I would actually write in the past tense. I would want my verbs to explain that the action happened back then but is not happening now. Let's look at an example and you'll see what I mean. I've taken an example from the paragraph that I wrote yesterday. The sentence reads, for most plants, growth begins beneath the soil. The word begins in this sentence is the verb and it's written in the present tense, showing that the action is happening to the plant now. I would not use the other version of that word, began. Listen to how it sounds. For most plants, growth began beneath the soil. It sounds like plants don't exist anymore, but they do. They're still around. So I write using the present tense. Let's look at another example. I've written, the seedling uses this to grow. That's using the present tense form of the verb use. I do not write, the seedling used this to grow. It sounds like I'm talking about an ancient seedling from long ago that doesn't exist anymore. Now let's talk about using the third person. When I write and I refer to the reader, I often use the word you. This engages them. However, if I'm talking about my topic, I never use the word you or I. That would just sound wrong. I use a different pronoun. Because I'm talking about plants, I might use the word it, its, or itself instead of the word plant or seedling in a sentence. If your topic that you're writing about is a person, you don't want to call your person it. That's a little bit rude. You're going to use a pronoun like he, she, him, her, himself, or herself. But what if you need to talk about more than one of them? Well, you use a group pronoun, like they, them, their, and themselves. Let's look at an example. In my text, I write, where does it get the energy to do this? From its mother plant? I do not write, where do you get the energy to do this? From your mother plant? Now it's your turn. Grab your draft and reread it to make sure that you're using the present tense and the third person. You'll need to check that for the present tense, your verbs are correct and for the third person that you've used the right type of pronoun. 
If you read your work out aloud, your ears should tell you. After you've made changes to your draft, keep on writing. Enjoy your work.